You see the last of the scrying water turns to steam in front of you, uh, and you feel the feather glow, like you can feel the heat from it in your side. Um, and the scrying changes to, uh, you see what Ida is dreaming in this nightmare forest right now. Um, what? <laughs> what Ida is seeing right now um, is a lifetime growing up on Leviathan. You see all these images of her and other lives screaming at her to be better and to do better, uh, that she is not enough. You see this struggle to be herself. You see her navigating Leviathan as a child. Uh, and you see this internal monologue shape on her face uh, through all the times that she didn't understand something and nobody explained it to her. Um, and you see you appearing in her life. Um, the you that appears in her life is not the illusion. It's really you. Um, and it's the first person that ever looked at her and saw her for who she was and was kind. And she speaks to all these versions of herself that are very different from Fig's other version of herself, but in many ways just the same. And they say, how could it be logical or reasonable that someone as incredible as Fig or Othfaith would find any quality of yours redeemable or worthwhile? Um, and you see Ida saying to herself, The fact that I have not found such a quality in myself does not mean that someone as brilliant as Figaroth couldn't find something in me worthwhile. And the exact sentiment you echoed of her, she echoes of you. Uh, and you are brought to a space between the trees, bound. Um, and.